What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Fairy Tale. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get max stats for everybody. And yes, I do mean completely max stats. Just like that for Guild Hearts, we have max HP, max MP, max attack, defense, speed and luck. And even though the other characters are kind of low, you can indeed get max stats for everybody. Not only that, you don't have to worry about La Crema either. This is completely just their base stats, which means that you can actually use all of those La Crema spots for other more useful Lacrimas instead. For example, you can use, uh, well, this one, for example, Army of One, which gives you a 30% chance of getting an extra turn after you have already had your current turn. And then you've got other ones like ones that heal you every turn, restore your MP, and things like that. Because it basically eliminates the need to have the uh, stat boosting Lacrimas. So, how do you do it? Well, first things first, you are going to have to be in post-game. That means you need to be in the epilogue and you need to have completed all six episodes in there. Once you've done that, you will receive Ultia's Crystal from Jalal. Now, what this does is basically it'll allow you to earn an extra set of points. Now, if you look on the top right there, it's got levels needed and points needed. The points needed is what you can earn once you get this crystal. Now, you can get these uh, these points from pretty much any fight, but you get them in very low amounts. For example, even the post-game bosses, they only give you about 100 points per fight. However, there is a way to drastically increase the amount of points you get, and you can earn about five to 600 in about a minute to minute and a half. So even though it says 2,000, don't worry, it really does not take long to get. And in fact, you'll actually get the full 2,000 longer before you get the 99 levels needed because yes in order to use this crystal you do have to get level 99 on the character that you want to use it for however again do not worry about that getting level 99 is incredibly incredibly easy and I will show you how to do that as well okay so first things first now I've already done um like a refresh with Natsu, for example. So I'm going to show you a character that I've not done a refresh on, like Ichi. So what this crystal will do is it'll take your level 99 and your 2,000 points. You will spend those 2,000 points and effectively reset your character back down to level 1. Like, for example, if you look down in the bottom right there, you can see what my stats will be instead. So for Ichi, he will go back down to level 1. However, if you look at his base stats, so for example, normally each year at level 1 will have 528 health, 56 MP, 36 attack, 42 defense, 44 speed, and 57 luck. However, once you get to level 99 and you use Ultia's crystal to reset him back down to level 1, his base stats will then be even higher. So the green stats on the right will be his new stats at level 1. And then if we press triangle to toggle the info, we can see what his stats will be at level 99. So currently, each year's stats are 468 MP, 370 attack, 377 defense, 475 speed, and 466 luck. However, once we actually you know, convert him over to the upgrade with Ultia's Crystal. Once we get him to level 99, his stats will then be massively higher at 590 attack, 597 defense, and so on and so forth. And you can do this more than once. For example, Natsu, I've already done it once on him. However, I do need to do it again just to completely max him out. Now, there are other benefits for this as well. For example, you will actually be able to upgrade your skills even further. So if I just uh, bring up Natsu's skills here, uh, let's see, where are we? There we go. Okay, so right now, as you can see, I've got a few three and fours. However, Ultra Fire Dragon Iron Fist and Ultra Fire Dragon Roar, for example, they were originally only two bars. 
However, now they are free bars, and that's because during the initial upgrade, his skills actually leveled up as well, which means as long as you actually keep expanding the magical foundation with those characters, you will also be able to increase the power of your skills all the way up to five bars. So, for example, let me just uh, quickly reset everybody, and then we will go ahead and uh, start working on the leveling side of this. Because I'll show you guys how to earn the 2000 points and hit level 99 incredibly, incredibly quickly. Okay, so once you actually reset the characters, a few things that you are going to need as well. The first one is going to be the pool. Now, the pool will allow you to use an ability called Link Hunt out in the field, and this effectively lets you fight a ton of monsters at a much higher level than normal. Now, you ideally want to get this all the way up to grade 5, because this allows you to use a Link Hunt all the way up to level 99. Don't worry if you can't actually use the rank 5 upgrade, that's fine, it's just going to take a little bit longer but really you want at least a grade 4. Now, a few other things you can do is you can also remodel things for the extra stat increases, uh, the laboratory for more damage because the monsters will be tough to beat first away, like straight off the bat, especially the boss monster it summons. Before you do any expanding, the boss monster will be really, really tough. And it'll also take quite a while to beat just because of his high health pool. However, once you do the uh, the first upgrade, then your stats are just going to get so high that any subsequent upgrades after that will just be incredibly, incredibly quick. Now, after that, you want to go to pretty much any area. It doesn't really matter much. However, I found that places like Boundary Forest offer the least EXP, and the most EXP is from the Great Plains. Typically, you'll be getting about 430,000 EXP per battle. So if we just start a Link Hunt, go all the way up to 99, and we'll start that fight. Now, obviously, getting level 99 can take a bit of time, but doing this method, you will probably do it in about 10 minutes uh, altogether. So, about 10 minutes of reset. So, in order to get max stats, you want to do about 3 refreshes on each character. So, realistically, you're only talking about 30 minutes. Now, what I like to do is, straight off the bat, I use Guild Hearts to inflict defense down on the full Metal Berserker, because that's effectively the boss monster. But because I've already done this a few times, my stats are already ridiculously high, so I'm still doing quite a lot of damage. After that, I'll use Wendy to just buff everyone, get them, you know, some more, um, some more attack. And then at this point, I mean, typically what I would do, I would actually just use Auto Battle, but that's because my damage is so high now. You can use True Samer with Jalal, which does have a chance to instantly kill the boss, which will come in very, very handy, uh, like when you first start doing this. However, because my stats are so high now, I've got really strong Lacrima. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Magic Chain, because I've also uh, basically upgraded the uh, Magic Chain ability, so I can get a full 99 chain effectively. But now, it's just going to be a case of winning the fight, clearing everything out, and then, uh, well, we'll see just how much EXP we actually get. But one thing I do want to point out is just look at that damage. And keep in mind, guys, this is level 1. I've not got perfect Lacrima yet either, so I'm still missing quite a lot of damage from that. And, of course, each character is about 200 to 300 points away from being maxed at. So, imagine the difference like in terms of damage, if I was doing this at max level with max stats. It would be quite a big increase, especially once you throw on the Lacrima. Anyway, let's just go ahead and use the finisher so we can actually see the EXP and the uh, magic points that we're getting for Ultia's Crystal. Okay, everything is dead now, just a casual 2.5 million damage because that's the way we roll here. And just in case you're wondering, max damage is only 10 million. 
Okay, so right off the bat there, 424,690 EXP. That is obviously with the EXP bonus for the 10% for using the magic chain. But I've gone from level 1 straight up to level 51. And if you look just below the, uh, the level up bar, you'll see I have 580 points right now. This is by far the fastest way to gain these magic points because it means you only actually have to do four of these link hunts before you have the full 2,000 points. Now, conversely, if you were to just do a regular battle, even in the highest level area, you would only gain about 5 to 6 points a fight. And even the level 99 post-game bosses only give you 100 points. So this way is definitely above and beyond, fat, like, just that much faster. And of course, if we take a look at the stats now, we are completely capped on Natsu for HP, MP, attack, and defense. Speed is nearly there, and so is Locke. But obviously, he's still got another 49 levels to go. So his stats are going to be maxed out very, very easily uh, once he gets to level 99. Same thing with Jalal. Guild Hearts, I mean, Guild Hearts by far has the biggest stat pool at the very start anyway. It's like, as soon as you unlock Guild Hearts, like before you even get ulti as Crystal, he's a good 150. 50 to 200 points higher than anybody else in the game. So Guildheart you can max out actually only doing one refresh basically. But you know might as well get the second one. Laxus again just speed and luck. Wendy is now maxed out completely as well. So that's it guys, that is how you get max stats in Fairy Tale, allowing you to also do the maximum damage possible at 10 million. Now one thing I will very quickly say though, once you do this, this will literally kill any difficulty the game has whatsoever. Even the post game bosses at level 99, even on hard mode, they will pose zero difficulty. It's like you'll still absolutely crush them. Like they will only be doing about 100 points of damage to you each attack. And that is simply due to the fact you have max defense and obviously combine that with max HP. You're pretty much unkillable. But there it is. If you guys want to do it, you now can. Still, that's going to be the end of this video, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please be sure to hit that like button and comment down below. Let me know if you are going to get max stats in Fairy Tale. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. As always, though, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.